I just copied a one page website making over $20,000 per month using only AI without any coding or web experience at all. Now the site 10 minutemail.com gets over 1.2 million visitors monthly and earns five figures from Google ads alone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I cloned it in under a day, added Google ads and Stripe and turned it into a passive income stream. All right. So to kick things off, I'm going to start by describing exactly what I want to build a clean, minimalist, single page website that gives users a free anonymous temporary email address. And it should work instantly, a valid one for 10 minutes, no forms, no login, no personal info needed. As soon as someone visits the page, a working email address should be generated automatically and displayed clearly at the top of the screen. And right below that, there should be a simple inbox panel that updates in real time. So any incoming messages should appear as they arrive. No need to have to refresh the whole page again. I also want a visible countdown timer showing how much time is left before the email actually expires since each temporary address should only be valid for 10 minutes. And to make the experience more flexible, I will ask for a button that lets users extend the timer if they need it. Now for the design, I'm going to keep things clean and modern. And the background should be plain white, the layout all distraction free, and the email itself displayed in bold, easy to read text. There should be zero clutter, just the essentials, and absolutely zero reloads as well. Everything should be just fast, clean, and seamless. As for the monetization side, I want the free experience to include Google AdSense, so that the site can earn from ads or basic traffic. But I also want to give users the option to upgrade. And that's where Stripe comes in. Premium users should be able to pay for a custom domain email address that lasts for up to 24 hours instead of just 10 minutes. After submitting the prompt, Replit is now asking me if I'd like to enable a few additional features, Google AdSense integration, Stripe payments, custom domain email support, and inbox management tools. And this time, I'm going to check all of the boxes here, then I'll click approve plan and start. The moment someone lands on the page, the app generates a temporary disposable email address automatically for them and there's no input required from them, no registration form. It just appears right at the top using the at tempmail.io domain. As soon as it's created, a countdown timer starts, allowing users exactly 10 minutes before their email expires. Now, clicking new email generates a fresh, unique address tied to the current session. It's a fast reset in case users want to switch without refreshing the page. And right below the email address is the inbox section, which updates real time as messages come in. If I click on new email, a sample message gets delivered almost immediately. The subject and sender show up in a clean list view and clicking on any message brings up the full content. Under the inbox, the countdown timer shows how much time is left. There's also an extend timer button, which should reset or add another 10 minutes to the session. But when I try it, nothing actually happens. So again, we're just going to go back to Replit and explain the issue. When a user clicks the button extend timer, it should reset or add 10 extra minutes to the current email. This should be smooth and not refresh the page and doing that seems to do the trick. If I click the button one more time, it resets the countdown to 10 minutes with no more page reload. So great. Everything stays live and smooth just the way it should. And right beside the email address, there's a copy button. Clicking it instantly copies the address to my clipboard and with just one click and it's ready to paste wherever I need to paste it. And when a message does come in and I click to open it, everything is laid out clearly. You'll see the usual email headers like from, to, and subject, followed by the full body of the message in plain text. At the bottom of each page, there are three small buttons, delete, forward, and close. 